to Ireland, you can add a little something extra to your cup here for St. Patrick's Day. Third in Maine restaurant in Aurora has a high-end Irish coffee perfect for the holiday. And chef owner Matthew Sweeney from Third in Maine joins us now in the studio this morning. And when I think Irish coffee, I just think of putting some Irish whiskey in a coffee, maybe putting a little bit of whipped cream on top. But you're going super fancy here. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the beauty of the Irish coffee is it doesn't have to be crazy and fancy, but um, we are going to whip up some cream uh, today to put on top. That's, in my opinion, one of the things that makes a good Irish coffee is the cream on top. Uh, we did a little bit of Bailey's and a little bit of heavy cream, some powdered sugar that we're just going to layer on top of there. And then in the actual Irish coffee itself, we did uh, an ounce and a half of Jameson, about five ounces of coffee, and then some brown sugar to sweeten it up. And that's in here already? Yep, in which we're going to pour I this cream. I can confirm that. Right. Smells good. Right on top of it once I get it finished whipping. So you're making your own cream. That's, yeah. I mean, that and, is and taking one, it up a notch. One big thing I wanted to touch on is the fact that, you know, I think a lot of people are intimidated to make stuff like their own whipping cream at home, but it's really not too bad. You just have to beat it just like anything else. And, um, you know, for something like this, it's really simple. You don't have to get anything specific. You're just looking to get it a little, little frothy and pour it right on top and it's kind of fun. Something to impress say, your friends. I've tried it before and it's never quite worked out for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know. Just keep going. Maybe, yeah. I wasn't, maybe I wasn't going long enough. I would say like I, in my experience, like half the time, like when you do it, you want to go about twice as long. Twice as long a as you of, think you need to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But, do you want me to continue that while you cook other things um, up or are we good? You think? So that is pretty much done. And what I'm going to do with this is we've got a little bit of uh, Asian slaw, which uh, <laughs> We're gonna throw on top of the sausages. Traditionally, si uh, the Irish love sausages, especially for breakfast, but really all day. Um, we've been making our own recently, and um, just something kind of fun. Not necessarily traditional as far as an Irish breakfast, but I just like to eat all the foods of the world. So yeah, so you're um, kind of mixing it up here. A I'm little gonna sausages. throw this on here, and then we're gonna do the cream on the drink. Okay. But, so again, tell me what's in that. Um, so this is really fun. Uh, it's grated mango, grated garlic, Ooh. and then uh, we threw some quite a few different Asian ingredients: sesame oil, a little bit of uh, chili crisp, which is kind of like a crunchy, spicy uh, pepper sauce, and then um, we also wow. threw some honey, some. Uh, Salt, pepper, lime juice, all that fun stuff. But so you're mixing the flavors of the world together here. Yeah, I why like not, that. right? Yeah. I think that's the best food. So we're gonna go ahead and layer the cream on top of this drink. Now, uh, most of the time, what you want to do is put it on top of a spoon to kind of get that separation. Oh, that maybe that's see. what I'm not doing right. Yeah, and um, it's still gonna kind of bleed into the rest of the drink, but it does look pretty oh, cool. Oh yeah. And the nice part is when you put that that Bailey's in here, you'll take kind of a sip and get a little bit of the, the Bailey's cream. Um, you'll get a little bit of the whipped cream. Oh yeah, and, look at uh, it. It's kind of what, what you want to see. It's all right if a little bit of it goes down into the drink. I, I always think that kind of looks sort of cool. And that's yeah. what's happening is the Bailey's is actually separating from the, the heavy whipping cream and dropping into the drink. So that looks kind of a delicious. fun little party yeah. trick for your friends. So. And, and quickly, anything yeah. going on at the restaurant new? Are you open on the patio yet um, or waiting? Patio will be open soon. You know, it just always depends on weather and we do live in the city of Cincinnati, right. so you never know. Um, we are opening a sushi concept here shortly. Um, we're making our own sausages. Some of these I got from LK Butcher and Finley, good friend of mine, and uh, some we made ourselves. Wow. Um, always doing something down there, but okay. yeah. And did you still have the the flight of steak? Yes, we still do the, the flights and um, you know you can get everything from American Wagyu, Japanese, Australian, all that fun okay. stuff. Okay, and so. if people want to find out more information, where do they go? Yeah, uh, visit our website, uh, check us out on Facebook as well. We post a lot of information on there and yeah. All right, third so. in Maine. Matthew Sweeney, thank you so yeah. much. Thank and we'll you. have this recipe at local12.com. We'll